I want to show you three easy, easy, easy to apply, very quick looks with these new products. You guys are going to love it. So here we go. Are you ready? Okay, first thing we're going to do, this is the Intrigue Shadow Quad. Okay, we've got a gold, a medium mauve pink, a little bit of a berry, and then a dark shimmery berry. Before we go into any applying of the eyeshadows, prep the eyes. I love concealer and foundation over top. Pale blush is my favorite. It's really going to give the color some pop. Long wear, and if you have oily eyelids, this helps kind of keep creasing at bay, if you will. So, go ahead, prep and prime the eyes. And the first color we're going to start with is the gold. I'm going to do a four shadow glamour eye. After that, we'll get into a four shadow smoky eye. So, we're going to apply the gold all over the lid, all over her tear duct, right into her brow bone. Really, really making sure to blend well. You can use the crease brush for this, the eye buffer, or the eye blending brush. Keep in mind when you're playing with the eyeshadows, you don't have to use all four colors. You can incorporate other colors with the shadows. Uh, you can incorporate some iris or sweet plum as an intensifier instead of the darker berry tone with shimmer. Now we're going to go ahead and apply the lightest pink tone. I'm going to take it all over her lid and bring it into her crease very, very gently. Again, now I'm using the placement brush because I want the color to pop, 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 pop out of this world. Make sure to blend really well. Don't worry about the drop shadow on her cheek. We'll take care of that at the end. You guys all know that trick by now. The second half of the outer corner of her eye now I'm going to apply the second darkest pink, okay? We're going to take that and apply it on the outer corners. Again, almost layering in the back half of what we did on the lightest pink. So pull it out a little bit and then just spread it right up and blend right into the crease, really gently. Okay, now for the darkest, more shimmery maroon tone. Very, very beautiful. I'm going to take that on the very outer, outer corner of her eyes and again blend it halfway into the crease. This really gives an intense look, if you will. Much, much more dramatic. Keep the other two tones on for a daytime kind of playful look. When you want to get a little bit dramatic, really incorporate that third, that dark pink right in there. And for using underneath the lid, on the bottom lashes, it's your choice. Do you feel like wearing a turtleneck or a v-neck today? It totally depends on how you feel. Just know, if you bring liner or shadow from the outer corner all the way in, you're getting a more dramatic look or even elongating the eyes. Keeping it clean underneath is going to give you more of a classic look. Whoops! Next product that we're going to use is my favorite. Drum roll! New gel liner! You should be so excited, ladies, because I am. I am cannot tell you how excited I am that we just brought this product on board. We have it in Tempting Teal and Jet Black. Do not be nervous with this product. Do not be scared. Do not be intimidated. You rule the product. You are stronger than the product. Here's the thing. If you're worried about application, don't. This is going to be the easiest way to apply liner from here on out. If you're worried that you may or may not have had good or bad skills applying liquid liner, this is going to make your life a breeze. Anyone can apply gel liner. My best suggestions, you want to use an angle brush. You can also use the retractable brush. But don't forget, ladies, don't forget, this is a wonderful time to tie in the brush set, okay? The angle brush to me is one of the easiest brushes to apply this product with. You can literally make dots and then connect them at the end and you have a straight line. With this product, you can smudge it, you can create a thick straight line, you can create a thin straight line. When you're talking to your customers, you want to make that very clear. The retractable brush is going to give them a little bit more of a thicker, full lash line. Using the angle brush, they have control. They can do a thin, very soft lash line, or they can go ahead full on drama and get that cat eye effect with the angle brush. Best suggestion, I say to apply a line first, 
smudge it out a little bit immediately right after you've applied it. Then you're going to go back over top and make a nice fuller line. Smudging in the background helps you camouflage if there's any dips or dashes, maybe a slight imperfection that happened while you were applying. Having that background smudged really helps camo. Now with this liner, you can set with a light powder. You can go ahead and set with coal or espresso, or you can get really funky and take sweet plum and set with that as well. All right, so here's a second and third way that you can use the quad, not just for eyeshadows. You can now take the gold, you can create a highlight in the C shape of the eye, okay? This is really gonna soften up the cheekbone and just give that elastic, healthy, movable look in the face. Now, you can just take your blush brush and swirl. Do nice swirls and you have a beautiful, beautiful cheek tone. Uh-huh. What else you can do? If you feel like the cheek tone is not dark enough, just take the tip part of your large cheek brush and only make swirls in the pinks or the darker pinks. This will kind of help you control the depth that you are trying to get from the blush. All right, so now what we did with the lips. I went ahead, she's wearing chocolate lip liner and I blended it in really, really well so that you didn't see a harsh line of lip liner. I took poised pink and radiant red, bold shine lip colors and blended them 50-50. After that, I went ahead and took a little bit of inspiring and dabbed it right in the center. So she got lots and lots of color for that beautiful shiny, shiny lip. Keep in mind, the two shine lip colors are buildable. If you want a more sheer lip color, you can do so. Put on two or three layers and you get a very strong, bold, opaque color. They're absolutely stunning. Next, we've done a smoky eye. Her eyes already prepped. I used a little bit of concealer and again, I took pale blush cream eyeshadow and applied it from lid to brow, blending very, 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 very well. With this intriguing smoky eye, we're going to start with the berry with the shimmer, the darkest pink in the quad. We're going to take it right on the lash line, keeping the most intense color by the lashes. We're only going to pull this up about halfway to the lid. Finishing the rest of the lid, we're going to take the second darkest pink and go from the middle of the lid all the way to the crease blending really well. Again, don't worry about the drop shadow. We're going to clean it up afterwards. Now for my crease tone, I'm going to use the lightest pink. Anybody and everybody can wear this, especially with the cream shadow behind it because it's really going to make the colors pop. Last but not least, we're going to use a little bit of that gold to highlight right here on her brow bone and give just a tad bit, if you want to, on the tear duct. Just lightens the eye a little bit, opens it up. Now blend, 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 blend. Make sure everything's nice, soft, and flowy. No harsh line should be seen at all through this. Again, for underneath the lashes, it's up to you. You can keep it clean, you can add a little bit of liner, you can do a little smudging, totally up to you. All right, this time what we did with the top liner, we're giving her more of a glamour eye, if you will. So, I'm gonna almost lay my angle brush down on the outer corner to make that wedge and gently pull it through to the tear duct. It should be wider on the outer corner, going much thinner once it gets to the tear duct. This will really give you that cat eye look. And no worries, if you have mess ups, any kind of dashes, at the end, you can clean it up with a concealer or a foundation and a sponge. Just tighten it up and make it as sharp as you like. Once you're done, set with a light powder. My best suggestion is coal or espresso. We're going to use the quad again for blush. This time, instead of making a swirl, I'm really going to concentrate on the last three pinks to give it more of a deep berry type cheek color. She already had a beautiful stain on her lip, so what I decided to do was work with the stain she had. She loved the lip color, so let's let her keep it. Again, I took a little bit of possibilities and just dabbed right in the center just to give a nice, simple, beautiful shine. Mwah! Beautiful. Now here's my favorite. Dun, dun, dun. Tempting teal. This is an amazing, amazing, amazing color. 
Some of you may look and say, whoa, that's not age appropriate for me. Mm, wrong answer. 110% it is. We all know the golden rules. As long as the colors go, they will roll. Just make sure you're using tones that are going to look good with the teal liner. Example of a color that's not going to look good. Copper glow and teal liner. That is not going to be the most beautiful eye. So, if you're going to use blue, use something that complements it. Whether it's purples, greens, other blues, or even pinks. That's going to be your best bet. What she has done is she actually used granite all over her lid, a tad bit of hazelnut in her crease, keeping most of the drama on the lid. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to take Tempting Teal Liner and apply a very, very wide, wide line on her lid. And I'm going to smudge it out. And I'm going to do this twice to give me a nice, bold, teal look right on her line. Keep in mind, ladies, this can also be a waterproof cream shadow as well. You really want to blend it out very, very well with the crease brush. But yes, you can wear this underneath several of our eye colors. Not only will it change some of the eyeshadow colors and make them pop, it's going to have long wear like you would not believe. Azure is a beautiful, beautiful color to wear over Tempting Teal. I just did a tip this past week. A young lady, Keegan Brown, placed lime all over her lid and used peacock blue in the back. It was absolutely gorgeous. She just did a little bit of peacock blue on her outer corners and wrapped it gently, gently, gently on the back end of her crease, not even her entire crease. So what I'm doing now, I've put Tempting Teal on, I've smudged it out, I'm now going back with Jet Black and doing a fine line, very close to her lash line. This is going to give her that creative edge, but also calm it down to look more realistic to walk out and wear if you're worried about wearing teal liner alone. Just know you could go over top it with, with the deep brown and smudge it as well. I love the jet black look. It's very sleek, a little creative, and really super fun. You can use tear liner on your bottom lashes and smudge it out as well. I like to do that and then add a tad bit of jet black in the back corner Smudge that and you have a great, hot, foxy fine eye. I want to let you know, LoriHog.com will be launching, hopefully, this weekend. So, um, any further information you need on the workshops, just go to LoriHog.com and you will find that.